There comes to a point in your life that you must recognize that there's a little bit more that has to be done than just complaining about it. You have to realize that you don't have any other opportunities waiting for you if you're not willing to work for the first opportunity that's been given to you. You will start that process of change. Do something different the next 90 days than you did the last 90 days, like picking up the books to read. Do something different like the new health disciplines, relationship with your family, whatever it is, doesn't matter how small it is. If you'll start doing different things with the same circumstances, since we cannot change the circumstances, we can change ourselves. We can change what we do. You don't have a lot of time left. So there's no reason to complain. You're not even in a position to complain. You have to figure out that there has to be another idea about you. And you have to understand that there has to be something even greater and more challenging waiting for you. Drop your ass off. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. It doesn't matter in what area you're in. No pain, no gain. Work your butt off. That's what I always do. No matter what you do, work, work, work. Self-discipline and being able to perform and being able to keep your life on schedule and being able to keep commitments and promises and meet deadlines is essential to success. Do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of, of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. But if you can begin to harness yourself and say that where I am, I'm going to do the best I can with what I got because that is an expression of who I am. If you get into the habit of just being mediocre, it will become a part of your consciousness. If you get in the habit of giving less than what you have within you to give, it will begin to reflect itself in your personality. It will begin to damage you psychologically. And you don't want to be a part of that kind of self-destructive behavior. And so you want to set some high standards for yourself. The next thing, part of what feeds that hunger, you've got to develop a sense of urgency. Well, you said, stop living your life like you have a thousand years to live. In life, you're either here today and you're gone today. If there's something that you want to do and you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. I like what Robert Shuler says. He said, by the yard, it's hard, but inch by inch, anything is essential. Believe in your ability to figure things out. I think that is the ultimate belief in life. That, you know what? I, I believe that I can figure out how things work and I believe that I can get better. That fundamental structure in our mind that says, I believe in those two things, that I can figure things out and I can get better, enables us for lifelong improvement and growth. But without them, good luck. Because if you take on a task that you don't know how to do, you say, well, I don't know how to do that, so I quit. If you want to be like somebody who you spot, who you see as a role model, but you don't believe in yourself, you say, oh, I'm not like that, so you quit. So without belief as the underlying element of your own mindset, there's no ability to grow. There's no ability to go anywhere. You have to look at this next stage of your life and say, I believe I can figure it out. If you have a great dream and you don't have any clue how to figure it out, you still go, I believe I can figure it out which allows you to get up and get to work on Monday and start working towards it. If you don't believe you can figure it out, you don't have any uh, what psychologists call expectancy or even agency. And so you won't begin the journey. But once you believe that you can figure it out and you can do it, then you'll begin. So always believe in your ability to figure things out. The questions you ask yourself will determine the course of your life. I had been asking myself, what do I need to do to get rich? And it left me really unhappy. So I changed the question and I started asking, what would I do and love 
every day, even if I were failing. The average human lifespan is 75 years. One third of your life is spent sleeping. An outer third of your life is spent on watching TV, movies, drinking and partying, traveling, spending time with family and friends, playing video games, commuting to work, buying groceries, paying the bills, being stuck in traffic, waiting in line, mowing the lawn, cleaning up the house, and doing laundry. 25 years left. In the first 18 years of your life, you are growing up. You are learning to walk, eat, run, and talk. You are totally dependent on your parents and going to school because you can't really think for yourself, call your own shots, or know how to be your own person. That means you have approximately seven years to make your dreams come true. And if you have a job, you probably spent most of that time working for someone else instead of building your own dream. Life is too short to waste time on people who don't lift you up or inspire you. Life is too short to be living somebody else's dream. Life is too short to wait. Life is too short not to take chances. Life is too short to wake up with regrets. Develop a sense of urgency in the pursuit of success and freedom. You must step up to live life on your own terms. Reasonable time is enough time to achieve all of your goals. Just jot that down. Reasonable time is enough time. Here's why. It's not the hours you put in. It's what you put in the hours. The ideas you can't think of now, a year from now, they'll start to flow. And when you deposit those ideas in the hours you've got, productivity multiplies by two, three, five. First and foremost, knowing who you are. Knowing who you are. Being able to answer this question, who am I and what do I want? Who am I really? My answer is I am God's child. I am that which is born of all that is. I am, as Pierre de Chardin said, a spiritual being having a human experience. Come trailing the breath of the ancestors yet, but trailing the breath of the angels. And understanding that because I am connected to the source of all that is, all that is possible is possible for me. That's who I am. I refuse to be aware of something I could be and should be doing better and purposely decide to not do it. I refuse. That's just like inviting broke into your life. Your pride and your ego has stopped you from being thirsty. You're in your own way. You are the reason your career is not on the next level. Nobody else. So one of the keys to legendary is longevity. And there's a lot of the book on how to how the best in the world, the great geniuses manage their vitality. So they were like in their 90s still rocking their craft. Mm -hmm. So it's mindset, heart set, health set, which is your physical life. And here's a key that I think will resonate with you. It's the fourth interior empire is your soul set. If your ego is running the day, you're never gonna go out there and change the world. You know, uh, a bad day for the ego is an awesome day for the soul. Mm -hmm. So working on your soul set so you are a titan of humanity and you're intimate with your highest nature and you're wiring in the great values and you're living for a cause that's bigger than yourself, that's what allows you to go out in the world and move through failures and really own your domain. So those four interior empires, once you work on those, you go out in the world and automatically everything you touch is golden because our outer success is always a function of who we are on the inside.